Hey guys, happy Friday. It is June 3rd, 2022, and this is episode five of the Dev Dojo Journey, a weekly docu-series where I kind of just talk about building Dev Dojo in public, and I'm completely transparent about all of the numbers and uh, things that are currently being worked on, and then uh, kind of just a cool way for me to share my journey. So let's go ahead and jump into the stats. Okay, right here in front of us, we can see the total number of users that have signed up for a free Dev Dojo account, and that is 58,608. So that's roughly up about 600 users from last week. And then if we're looking at the active paying users, it looks like we are down by six from last week. So last week we were at 705, and now we're at 699. And again, numbers like this kind of just fluctuate, and I want to be completely transparent about all the numbers. Um, definitely wasn't a good week, but hopefully, you know, we can do some things in the next couple weeks to uh, increase the number of active paying users. Uh, then we go over to the month to date revenue. So we're at about 6931, 6931 for a 30 day uh, period. And that is down a couple hundred, but it's still right around the same around the $7,000 mark. Uh, then we go over to the analytics. And it looks like we're at about 23,000 users. And again, we're fluctuating at that about 25,000 uh, new users per week coming to the Dev Dojo site. So those are the stats. Let's go ahead and jump into some updates. Okay, so I have a checklist of things that I'm currently working on to finish up the new version of Tails. So uh, Tails is our Tailwind CSS page builder, and I am currently working on a new version which is completely different from version one, kind of like rebuilt the whole structure and uh, kind of made it more of a site builder than just a page builder. Uh, so one of the things that I was working on this last week is the ability to just browse components. So now you can click on browse components and you can see that you can just copy that to clipboard or you can actually just download the design and then you can open this up and you can see the design right here in front of you. So from anywhere in the app, you can even jump into the application Let's go back to the dashboard. And right here we have this browse components that will pop this little uh, slide over in. You can also go up to the menu and click on components and then it will slide this over. So again, you can check out all the different navigations, the heroes, the logo sections, content, and then you could always just download the file or you could copy and paste the Tailwind uh, HTML content and just you know copy it and then paste it into your project. So it just makes it really easy to uh, you know, grab some of these components and throw into your project. So one other thing that I was working on was the, I was finishing the image upload functionality. So right here, we're gonna click on change image and I can say choose an image. And let me see one here. Okay, so I can go ahead and click on open and then it's going to upload that image and then reload and it's going to save the image right there. So now you can then Oh, I just closed the window. Not what I meant to do. Okay, Dev Dojo. And that actually is one thing that I need to work on is uh, when somebody just closes the window like that, it should actually present you with a pop-up and say like, oh, hey, you have unsaved changes. So I guess kind of just me testing it out is a good thing because I'll know that I need to add that pop-up just in case anybody were to close the application. So here, yeah, you can click save and then you should be able to go back to the dashboard and you'll see that new image uh, is there in the design. So those are some of the main things that I was working on. Oh yeah, one more thing, which is super cool. Um, before I was just allowing you to change the text over here on the right. So you just uh, change the text over here, but I've actually added the functionality. It will turn any piece of text into a content editable. So you could just go right in here and just start typing in. So we could change the name, the title of this button. Could say click here to learn more so it kind of just makes it a little bit more intuitive for the user okay so the last part of the video i like to answer a few questions that were added from the last video it doesn't look like we really got uh, many questions um but we did get you know somebody asking uh i guess it's not really a question but just saying certain things that they would like to see so this uh barris canaton hopefully i didn't Canatan, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, uh, would be nice to know what your conversion rate is of visitors to paid membership and free members to paid membership. So I'm actually not 100% sure on what my conversion rate is, and perhaps that's something that I should focus on. Um, 
I know that would probably help, especially if I were to get into some paid advertising. Uh, but I think right now my main focus is going to be the new version of Tails, and then I will work on some marketing things. Uh, let's see. We also have somebody else asking a question about Wave. So if you're not familiar with Wave, you can go to devdojo.com slash Wave. It is our software as a service starter kit where you have like things like authentication, billing, uh, user profiles, just out of the box uh, with this Laravel application. So they're asking here uh, if there's a way to add a different custom payment processor to Wave they want to use an African-based payment solution. So there definitely is probably a, you know, a simple way that you can add that. Um, you would have to take out the paddle payment system and uh, integrate some other payment system in there. Uh, so it's definitely possible. It probably would require a little bit more custom work, um, but you could definitely do that. So those are all the questions that we have. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out with me as uh, I go along on this journey of building my software as a service. Hope you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.